and welcome back to this tutorial. This is part three, where you'll see I finished drawing my neon pink lines. And this is an optional extra, I guess, to make your piece even more amazing. So check you're on the right layer. And this time you want the magic wand tool, which tends to be hidden. So you go under the masking tools and you click on the background and it highlights or selects everything around your lines. Now to get those spaces in between, you press the shift key and hold it and click and it will fill those sections in. So I had about three or four sections that needed me to fill them in. Press shift the whole time and that's it. I've got everything selected. Now I go to select and inverse and now instead of everything other than the lines, it has selected the lines. Okay, and that means that I've masked off so I can just work on those lines. So if I change the color, I'm going to change it to a bit of a mucky yellow and I grab the brush tool. I can use the tool and I can paint with my brush anywhere I like. And because I've masked off those sections, it is literally just painting the lines and nothing else. OK, and I can put those highlights wherever I like. OK. And this is obviously inspired by the artist's work. So I've taken a look at his before doing this to kind of get it kind of inspired by him. Okay, you don't want to go too much, just highlights in various places. That'll do. I choose a different color, I think a bit of orange. And then I do the same again, paint some areas. And that allows me to add even more kind of detail and interest to this piece. Okay, so just a few bits. Don't, as I said, completely kill the neon pink. You still want it to be there, but this just adds some different highlights. Magnifying glass, fits on screen, and then I get rid of the mask by clicking on the rectangle and anywhere on the side, and there it is, guys. There's my finished piece. Okay, so I need to save it. So file, export, and go to JPEG. And then you want to make sure your quality is up to the maximum. Click OK, and that will download. And then you can open it. And boom, there is my finished piece of work. Hopefully this tutorial helps you to create your own. And I really look forward to seeing what you create using this to help you.